Oh, it's mid-season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. I'm going to set this one up with two words. Lake Fork. That's where it's all going down. The Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest for 2019. Welcome to you. Welcome to the Toyota Bassmaster Studios. I'm Tommy Sanders here with Davey Hyatt. And Davey, the state of Texas is known for legendary lakes that kick out giant bass, but acre for acre, there's no place like Lake Fork. You're exactly right, Tommy. We all love to go fishing in, in Texas because the, the whole state is really, really good. But when you talk about Lake Fork, everyone knows you're talking about big bass. Very, very interesting tournament we got going on here. A lot going on, some fish still spawning, some fish postponed. But one thing you can guarantee when you say Lake Fork, there will be lots of big bass caught. Oh, they will catch big ones. In fact, let's look deeper right now into Lake Fork with our Yamaha Unlock the Lake. And there's only 27,000 acres, really small for a full field event here, Davey, but it is so, so productive and has been for 40 years. Well, you just have such fertile water. You have standing timber, you have a lot of shoreline vegetation, just everything that you could look for in a big bass fishery, and you have it there at Lake Fork. They manage this lake very well. All these things that, that you want to have in a big bass fishery, you have here at Lake Fork. How, how productive is it? What can it produce in a tournament? How about three days of fishing in 2014 in the forerunner to this event? And Keith Combs knocking out 110 pounds, not in four days, but three days, Davey Hike. That's unthinkable. Yeah, this Lake Fork is absolutely incredible. Keith Combs, one of the best fishermen, if not considered the best fisherman here at Lake Fork. But we've got a, a field packed full of good fishermen, as you can see here. Lots of other folks catching them in a big, big way. Yeah, the day one results bear that out. Chad Pipkins on top, just barely ahead of Brandon Cobb, who's already won the season. But Chad Pipkins, what a show he put on on the first day and the second day as well, Davey. He's one of those guys that found him a little deeper. Well, he said, I had a good practice shallow, but I found one or two spots that are really good deep. And man, have they really shown up for him here on the first two days. Biggin. Oh, my God. That's there. You're gonna, that's, oh, my God. Please stand. Oh, no. Don't do it. Oh, God, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Woo, you're gonna need to slide over. Don't do it, don't do it. Come on, baby, please. Come on. Yes! Woo! <laughs> New personal best! Oh my God! Yes! Woo! So all I can say is love Lake Fork. You gotta love watching someone catch their personal best with no net. If you've never landed a bass that size, Without a net, you need to try it one day. It is very, very exciting, Tommy. Well, how great is it to catch your personal best on probably the biggest regular season tournament of the year, too. Just everything coming together for Chad Pipkins. You can see what he got done on day number two. Comes with 30-plus again to take a massive lead over the rest of the field after two days of our four days of fishing. And we've got our field down to 35 anglers. We are going out on day number three. And Chad Pipkins has a massive lead. We'll get into the exact numbers, but nothing safe out here. You can see 62 pounds, 14 ounces after knocking out 30 plus on day number two, 30 pounds at 15 ounces. But look at Drew Cook, 11 pounds, four ounces behind our leader. Yet anywhere else that would be a, a prohibitive lead, not here. Garrett Paulquette not having a bad tournament, yet 15 pounds behind Chad Pipkins. Brandon Card, one of his best outings of the year, did very good on Lake Lanier as well. Brandon Card's got a lot of ground to make up. A little bit sneaky here, Brandon Cobb, even though he went dropped off the table to 14 pounds plus on day number two, he's still in the hunt, Davey. Yeah, fell back a little bit on day two, Tommy, but Brandon Cobb, we've already seen him win an Elite Series tournament earlier this year on Lake Hartwell. Everyone expected to see him do well there as home lake, but he feels right at home here at Lake Fork. It's incredible how similar these lakes are fishing. He loves to throw a jerk bait, fish top water early in this time of year in South Carolina. And Lake Fork, believe it or not, is setting up very, very much like that. And look out for Brandon Cobb when he can fish in his comfort zone. He certainly knows how to get it done. Golly, I think I'm running into them. I don't think they're biting it. Is that a fish? That's a fish, that's a, yeah, that's a fish. That might be a big one. Or I got him foul hooked, one of the two. I 
I don't want to go in a stump. Dude, I can't even tell if it's a bass. Yes, yeah, a bass, a big one. Ah, my rod got cut on me. Got him. Give me a guess. This has got to be an eight. Skills yeah. are zero. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. He's pretty heavy. Ooh. Eight pounds. Call it eight pounds, eight ounces. That, that lot. Eight eight. Eight eight. eight, eight. The lot right there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Eight eight. Oh, that's a twenty-four incher. <laughs> that's what you want on day three. <laughs> that was fun. You ever seen a fight like that before? <laughs> Boy, a lot of, you see the size of that cull, seven pounds plus, and as is the tradition, and has been here for more than a decade, all the catches are weighed and released at the boat. If you have a 24 plus, you can bring one fish in to show the crowd, but we got more on the way. Right here from Lake Fork, we'll be right back. Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest, benefiting Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, is brought to you by Mercury, Talon, Minn Kota, and by Humminbird. Oh my gosh, stay. <laughs> yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes, yes. Incredible Lake yes. Fork, what we have seen so far here. When you think about it, since they've had the Sri Lanka program in Texas, 30 of the top 50 fish have come from this lake right there. Our rules of the game, four days, eight hours a day, five bass limit each day. We've cut down to 35 from our original 75 here on day three. Of course, the top 10 will be going on the final day, Championship Monday. But man, what a day. And Drew Cook from Florida having a terrific tournament here on Lake Fork. It's Drew Cook, so you can bet he'll keep those spawners on us. But he's also doing a little fishing on some shell beds out there, Davey. Stay on, baby. Stay on. God knows. Quit it. Come here. Come here. Yes, sir. Oh, we're making something happen now. Golly, when you see that mouth, you think, oh, that could be a big one right there. Skinny. Zero. Skinny. Four pounds, 12 ounces. I like it. I like it. We're getting somewhere now, boys. Now yeah, we're getting somewhere. Mm-hmm. I like it. Keep in mind, these fish that Drew Cook are catching, most of them are post-spawn. The, the weights are great, but absolutely incredible, the size of these fish at Lake Fork. Well, you know what else is incredible? The points race for Toyota Bassmaster Angler this year. It is going to be epic. It has been so tight already. Patrick Walters in there. Drew Cook right behind him. Stetson Blaylock in it. Corey Johnston, Scott Canterbury. This one's coming down to the final. This is coming down to the AOI tournament at the end of the year. Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Drew Cook, and from Drew Cook, currently in second place behind Patrick Walters. We're going to move a little further out and pick up the angler in 10th place in that race, and that would be Tennessee's Brandon Card. Such an interesting tournament here to watch. You see Drew Cook fishing shallow, doing a little bit of sight fishing. You see some people like Brandon Card fishing offshore. A wide variety of patterns going on here this week at Lake Fork. One thing about Brandon Card, I don't think he has enough places. He has to let them rest, and that really hurts him. Yeah, so I came back to the to the place where I caught three this morning. You know, I caught one right under six and one right up, uh, under five earlier this morning and another one. It's all about letting these places rest. If you sit here and pound on them, it's not gonna work out. These fish need to just reposition and uh, set back up. You know, fishing as deep as I'm, you know, fishing, I think there's gonna be some big ones out here. You know, some of the ones that spawned early and, um, 
you know, they've, they've been out here for a while. There he is, big and, oh my gosh. This may be a Tundra truck. Excuse me. Come here, sweetie. Boom! Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Look at that one, folks. Yes! That's what we're fishing for out here. Like I said. Lake Forks Launch Donkeys. 615. 615. Yeah, kiss that thing. <laughs> kiss her. I don't kiss them. <laughs> that one, when I pulled into it, it like literally about pulled me into the lake. <laughs> I had to hit the thumb bar. I was going in. That is pretty awesome, man. That is awesome. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Here, let's, let's turn this loose. See, this is what's cool about Texas Fest. We get to turn them loose right here. <sighs> Maybe I'll catch you again tomorrow. Yes. That just happened. Brandon Card letting them reset, uh, reposition, and it pays off with a four pound plus. Uh, cull up for Brandon Card. Big, big move on day number three here. You talk about a big cull, seven pounds plus. We just saw that from Brandon Cobb out here. And Brandon Cobb would like to have another one of those. Let's take a look at how his day has gone and sort of moving along in the slower, lower range there. But that one at 9.20 a.m., big one, made a big difference. All right, so we're still running the uh, shad spawn thing. Yesterday, or not yesterday, but day four, second day two, it just didn't work. Like, I mean, it just flat out didn't work and uh, been running it today. I could tell it was happening this morning. I hit a few spots that were just average spots. I was coming by and they were schooling a little bit. So I went to one of the holes where I caught 30, part of my 31 the first day and they were there pretty good. We caught about 19 off of it. And uh, then I just still been running it, seeing a little action still and came to this. This is just a community hole. I mean, boats have been on it all day and so they're still doing it. It's just gotta get your timing right. There's one. Might be a good one. Don't go in the trees. That's a big one. That one might be bigger than the last one. Maybe. Fighting her way harder than I want to, but. I got her. <laughs> 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 that one might be bigger. <laughs> scale zero. Oh, scales are zero. <laughs> I can't get old. I can't get her on there. Her lips too big. Eight thirteen, right there. Eight thirteen. It, it stopped on eight thirteen. It locked. <laughs> well, we had a little weather change on day two, and it made it a struggle for Brandon Cobb, but boy, day three is setting up just perfect. And, and he knows how to get it done, fishing shallow, the shad spawn with the jerk bait. And he foul hooked that eight pounder, but then he catches a 813 just about an hour or so later with his jerk bait. Brandon Cobb having a tremendous day. Yeah, an 8.8 eight and an 8.13 will perk anybody's day up, especially like you say, he had a tough day on day number two, but it's Garrett Hawkett. We saw at the start of this day he was 15 pounds plus behind the leader, and that's how volatile a place like Lake Fort can be. What can happen in a couple of casts can change the whole complexion of the leaderboard. Garrett Hawkett, our Michigan angler, 24 years old coming from 15 pounds off the pace to take over the lead right now, but expect more changes because it is going down on Lake Fork in a big way. We'll be right back.
So today we're at the Texas Freshwater Fishery Center in Athens, Texas, and we're going to be stocking some Cher Lunker Offspring Fry. Per every gram, we have 275 fish. So right now, we've got 83.8 grams. That's gonna give us a total of 23,045 fish. We're breeding these large legacy class bass, 13 pounds or larger in our hatchery systems. We've proven in science that these fish uh, grow better, they get heavier and they get longer than pure northern strain fish or Texas native bass. Toyota Share Lunker is a promotion enhancement program for lunker bass across the state of Texas. So any angler that's on the water, um, they catch a fish over eight pounds or 24 inches, can submit that catch information to us through our mobile app to provide us information for our management decisions and research efforts. Um, the other way, the way we've been doing it since the program began, uh, is collecting 13 pound bass um, for selective breeding. The end goal here in the future, having the participation of anglers, is for us to create this new brood stock that will allow us to stock somewhere between six and nine million of these Cheryl Lunker bass all across the state. Absolutely incredible what Texas Parks and Wildlife has achieved here at Lake Fork and all across Texas. Anglers across the country are just uh, waiting for the day that their state can get as serious about big bass as Texas can. They are serious about big bass at the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest. And look at Brandon Cobb coming from a good bit off the pace. He's gotten into the eight pound plus fish, Davey, and that has changed our leaderboard yet again. Now he has surpassed Garrett Paquette at the top of that leaderboard with plenty of fishing left. Let's get a better look at Garrett Paquette. We talk about these 24 year olds that are making a big splash. He's only missed one cut this year. He's definitely a part of both races. Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year and Rookie of the Year. He's a big part of the scene at Fork here. There's a big one. Maybe. This can happen right now. I'm not even kidding. Oh. Like we were saying, that's seven. It's gotta be. That, that you can't have scripted that any better. Whew. I got a chance at it tomorrow, dude. All I want is a chance. I was like, yeah, you know, hopefully I can scan up a couple big ones tomorrow. There's one right there. Yeah, biggest one I've caught since I've been here. Seven pounds, two ounces. Seven two. What a way to end the day, man. Back to back seven twos. Well, certainly a great way to finish up on day three for Garrett Paquette. He's fishing offshore and, and you just had to know as this tournament progressed, more and more big fish would be moving offshore. But Brandon Cobb has really got it done in a big, big way today. Fishing shallow, fishing shell beds, fishing a shad spawn. And now it looks like he's got one on the bed. This is the only place I could think of where I knew where they were, you know? There she goes. Get it, get it, get it. That's a big one. He's bigger than I thought he was. That might be a 10 pounder. <laughs> In the mouth. Oh my god. It's oh <laughs> a five pounder. Yeah. Oh my god. See, that might be 
That might be the biggest fish I've ever caught. Oh my god. Holy cow, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we zero. <laughs> we are zero. Oh my gosh. Good little five pounder. I thought it was like a seven and then oh it's not. My god, oh, it's not. Right. Five plus times two. You ready? Oh look, it's eleven. Eleven one. Eleven pounds one eleven pounds one ounce. <laughs> <laughs> eleven one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that now? Hey. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was fun. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh my god. What can you say about a moment like that? He had one already, an over a 24 inch fish in the live well. He'll uh, turn that one back and take that 11 1 into the way in there in an eight pound cull with the smallest fish he had caught so far among his five keepers. So uh, we've got some stuff to watch at the weigh in today. Day three weigh in is going to set the crowd on fire. This Toyota Tundra Big Bass, 11 pounds and an ounce. Boom, chucka lucka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. Uh, apparently, I'm really bad at judging fish because I told my marshal, I said, that's a five pounder. And then after about five minutes, I, said, I think it's a seven or eight pounder. And then when I said the hook, I said, oh, never mind, it's over 10. And uh, that's the biggest fish I've ever caught right there. This lake is unbelievable. That, uh, that, that, that was the biggest bag I've ever had and the biggest fish I've ever caught in one day. So it was an unbelievable day. Unbelievable on so many levels. Just the sheer size of the fish we have seen caught here on day number three. And Brandon Cobb leading the way with his personal best in 11-1. And you can see the lead he has opened up ahead of Garrett Paquette. And of course, Chad Pipkins, who started this day with 11 pounds clear of the rest of the field. He has fallen. More on the way. We'll start the final day when we return. Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest, benefiting Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, is brought to you by Power Pole, Skeeter Boats, Yamaha, and by Toyota. Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest is always a special week, certainly for a lot of reasons, one of the most important tournaments of the year for the Bassmaster Elite Series. And we see what's happened there as we go into the final day, 10 anglers left, and you can see Brandon Cobb, what a magnificent day number three he had out there, 37 pounds plus. Brandon Cobb ahead of Garrett Paquette, but not enough. Seven and a quarter pounds will not get it done, Davey Hyde, on this play. He's had two fabulous days, no doubt. Day one and day three, and Mercury move of the tournament, absolutely, for Brandon Cobb on day three here with this 11 pound, one ounce, just leg fork hog right there, no doubt about it. And that's certainly the Mercury move of the tournament for Brandon Cobb. It's not like just because I caught him yesterday, it feels like for sure I'm gonna catch him again, but it was awesome, so <laughs> hopefully it will. Wish you luck going out looking Thank for his second Elite luck, Series title Thank you. of the season. Already took a win. Yeah, good to keep that in mind. So hard to win even one time in the course of the season against this strong field on the Elite Series. Brandon Cobb going for number two with the lead to start out this day. You can see we're down, as we said, to 10 anglers on this final day. There's the distribution across Lake Fork. And Let's go down to our leader again, seven and a quarter pounds ahead of his nearest competitor. Got a little more company out on the lake today, does Brandon Cobb. He certainly got everyone's attention with almost 38 pounds yesterday. I don't think it's, it's a bass, it's just little. Are you a 14 incher? I don't know. Yeah, he probably are. Oh, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah he's almost zero. Zero? That wind's gonna make it tough. Probably have to hold it behind yourself. I found 14 ounces. 114. Good with it. 114. Well, that's a start. He certainly doesn't want a 114 on his virtual limit. 
when the day is done. So Brandon Cobb, just getting things started today. Let's take it out to second place now at Garrett Paquette. It's so interesting to see Brandon Cobb fishing shallow. We saw him catch a big fish yesterday, sight fishing, but he's fishing shallow around the shad spawn. You can see Garrett here fishing totally different offshore, waiting on these bigger females to move out. And hopefully by today, he'll have more move into his area. Big one, big one. Not a giant, but a five pounder. Five, 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 five. Five, five, five ounces. This is the day one spot. They're starting to fire. Just a five pounder, but definitely a bonus for Garrett Paquette because he really hasn't caught many of his deep fish until mid afternoon anyway, 1 30, 2 o'clock. Let's take it over to another angler who's been spending some time offshore, and that is Brandon Card. This time of year is so crucial. Every single day you're expecting more and more of those fish to move out onto these offshore ledges like Brandon Card is fishing. As the tournament progresses, catch a lot of fish on a crankbait, but you need to mix it up and use some other baits like a jig or a Carolina rig, something like that. I'm thinking about firing that crankbait in there now. Yeah, it just takes one. Yeah. Because this is just too slow. But you can get them fired up on a jig too. Mm -hmm. But see, <clears throat> oh golly! Dang it! Yes. Look at the spot right there. That's a good one. <laughs> First. Well, actually, second fish of the day, but yeah, look at the spots on that. I want to take a picture of that one. That's before. crazy. Scale is zero. Five pounds, 11 ounces. Five, 11. Great start for Brandon Card. Right now, let's quickly go over to the angler who held down the lead on days one and two, Chad Pipkins. A little trouble on day three trying to right the ship. Big him, big him. Stay on, stay on, baby. Go, oh, my goodness. Big digging. Gosh, please stay on there, girl. Get you some of that, baby! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Oh! oh, God. Thought it was a stump, then it started swimming. Eight, eight, yeah. eight, eight pounds. Eight pounds. Yeah, your ruler it might might make it. It's long. <laughs> he's not gonna make it. Oh. oh, he's an eighth of an inch short. Eight pounder, eighth of an inch short. Mwah. I was so close. Eight yeah. Chad Pipkins making a big step toward returning to the form he had on days one and two. Brandon Cobb, again, what a great day three he had. He's had a slow start, though, early on this morning. Got that one. That's a big one. <laughs> That's got to be a six pounder. It's the waves. Yep, six five. We'll take them. All right, let's get back out there. That could have been the weirdest lip job ever. I just won the award for that lip, like grabbing him, like getting him in the boat. I was like, I don't know where to grab him. I'm just gonna bear hug him. 
And I did, and it worked. Well, you knew it probably wouldn't be long before the size showed up for Brandon Cobb, and that fish was notable for a lot of reasons. Let's take a look at our leaderboard right now, and you see that was the Century Club fish right there. Put Brandon Cobb over 100 pounds and doubled his lead over Garrett Paul Cat. Still plenty of fishing yet to come on Championship Day. There's one. No, don't do that. <clears throat> Need four more of those. Oh, there are slug fests, and there are slug fests. We've already had one this year down in Florida. This is chapter two. This is a heavyweight championship 12 round bout here, and this has brought some incredible weight across the stage, but we knew it was coming from Lake Fort. Welcome to Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest 2019. Tommy Sanders, Davey High, right in the thick of it here, and this place, we knew it wouldn't disappoint. In fact, it exceeded all expectation. Well, all these fishermen love to go fish in Texas, but when you talk about Lake Fork, you're talking about a different fishery. One of the best, if not the best in the country, no doubt about it. So you love to go there for Texas Fest. And man, this one is so special. The time of year, a lot of changes in the weather, a lot of different patterns going on, a lot of stuff going on from shallow to deep. Looking here at Skeeter Taste the Bait. It's just absolutely incredible to be at a fishery where you see fish being caught shallow on a jerk bait, like you see Brandon Cobb catching a lot of his fish shallow on a jerk bait. And then a lot, a lot of other things going on top water. How fun is it for Luke Palmer and some others to be catching the size fish that they were catching on a frog. And still some fish spawning, so you had fish up real shallow for people like Drew Benton. Corey Johnston, those guys love to fish shallow, but here's something that we knew would play at Lake Four. Chad Pipkin's really getting it done on day one and day two, offshore cranking. And speaking of offshore cranking, Keith Combs, one of the best in the business. He's caught him here many times before. Got a mouthful of old 6XD right there, boy. We got a daggum Boone and Crockett Hoopville bass right here, boy. Six pounds, seven ounces. Six, seven. Six, seven, that's a good one. I had another one hooked there, man. Well, you better look out. I thought coming in this event, you better look out for Keith Combs on the final day. More and more fish seem to be moving offshore, but there's still a lot of fish up shallow. The shad are spawning, and people like Michael Frazier are capitalizing on the shad spawn. Yep. It's a good one, too. Yep. Watch out, watch out. Ah, yes, sir. All right. Look at that one. Ooh, she's full of eggs, man. Fish is going to weigh more than he looks. Zeroed out. Not Five ten. ten. Yeah. Full, of eggs. full of something. Yep, man. Thing was built like a 10 pounder, wasn't he? Yeah. And speaking of folks taking advantage of the shad spawn, Drew Cook has been fishing shallow all week long. A little sight fishing mixed in, but here he's on a shell bed. It's been a great place for him here, fishing shallow throughout the day. Multiple times of the day, a lot of big fish on the shallow shell bed for Drew Cook. God. Ah, dang, man. Got one in me, but I got one in him too. Got a hook in you? Not anymore. Skinny guy. It's a nice one. There's a bunch of them up there, apparently. Four pounds, 12 ounces. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's get another one. It's on that same stroke. 
Drew Cook, a good call right there. A great tournament for Drew Cook. Down here on Lake Fork, of course, this is Drew Cook's first year in action out there for the 24-year-old. And just like in our Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year race, the Dick Sporting Goods Rookie of the Year race has the exact same look at the top. A battle back and forth between Patrick Walters and Drew Cook. Also in the thick of it, Luke Palmer, Lee Livesey, who could have done a lot better, was expected to this week. Had a little bit of trouble here on his home lake. And Garrett Paquette has been steadily improving throughout this part of the season, the middle part of the season. Oh. It might have been my century belt that just jumped off. That's her. Garrett Paquette steadily upgrading today. One of those guys who's also creeping up toward the 100 pound mark, the century mark. And of course, a little while back, we saw Brandon Cobb get there. Now he's up to 110. There's a good one. That's a big one. Oh, a big one. There's a stump over here. Don't go this way. Come here. No, it's not. Got her. <laughs> that was a good call. Now they better be catching. Zero? <laughs> Six two. That's what we were looking for. Unless somebody had a day like I had yesterday, that may have been the dagger there. You never know, but you kind of have to think at this point, for Brandon Cobb, this tournament has uh, assumed beatdown status. Look at that lead oh, he's got over Garrett Paquette. But remember, an 11-1 might be lurking out there for someone else, so we can't quite close the door on things just yet. We'll be right back with the finish. Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest, benefiting Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, is brought to you by Triton Boats, Berkeley, Abu Garcia, and by Nitro Boats. Championship Day Lake Fork is on a roll. Fork is pretty much always on a roll, but what a great day and what a great week we have had here. Making the top 10 in ninth place, Canada's Jeff Gustafson. He has moved up now to eighth place and still plenty of room to grow. That might be big. Oh God. He's not hooked good either. Come on. Yes! Holy crap, dude. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that is some meat from Lake Fork, baby. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Seven pounds, 10 ounces. Beautiful. Pull out my manly uh, measuring board here. I've been getting made fun of. We got a keeper. <laughs> Woo! Sorry for all the commotion. Toy Fury? 20, 22. Beautiful. Nice one over the slot limit. It did create some commotion over the slot limit. Take it back and show to the crowd. Corey Johnston out there with his eye on another big one. Got her. Oh my God. Stay on there.
Yeah. Well, Lake Fork just keeps on producing these big, big females. Shallow, deep. You, you, you see one angler out deep cranking, catching eight, nine pounders, and then people like Corey Johnson fishing shallow, fishing for fish still on the bed. Micah Frazier fishing extremely shallow with a jerk bait. Go off. Did not know that was a good one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Six eight. Six eight. Yeah. All right. Great day for Micah Frazier. It's championship day. Great season for Micah Frazier. He's only missed one cut so far this year, and he only missed it by six spots at Winya Bay. So he's part of the conversation when we talk about Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year points, as is this young man, Garrett Paquette, solidly in second place right now and knocking on the door of the century mark. That might be the century belt, boys. <laughs> yes! <Yeah. laughs> oh, I know it is. <laughs> That's a six all day. It's zero. Oh, five one. Hmm. Not. Seven five. Seven pounds, five ounces. Seven five. I think Garrett was trying to prank us there a little bit, Dave. He was. <laughs> he was. He is up above the century mark, and of course, uh, much earlier today, and now up to 111 pounds, Brandon Cobb. Oh, God, they're schooling. Oh, my gosh. Come back. Well, I just freaking threw up there. That's a big one. I'm going to throw it the one on the right. Oh, you freaking kidding me? Oh, I got a dang little one. Oh, a big one's trying to get it. You see that? Come here. I want to get him out of the water so they don't follow him. Oh, my gosh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That was a little one. I'm glad you didn't get it. That's not. Uh. Uh. Yeah, he's bigger than 413. Not one you normally want to boat flip, but he looked like he was hooked good. All right. Five, Five pounds, 12 ounces. Wow. Five, 12. Absolutely amazing. That's 20 bass for a total weight of 114 pounds, Tommy. That is incredible. Just unbelievable. Lake Fork is always amazing. I think it's been extra amazing this week. So Brandon Cobb, time to get back to the weigh-in, collect his second blue trophy for an Elite Series win this year, and so much more. I'd like to bring out from Texas Parks and Wildlife to give you the trophy and make it official, Mr. Dave Terry. And for the second time in three events, the C-O-double-B doubles down at Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest. May sound a little over dramatic, but man, what a show of force for Brandon Cobb. All of these anglers catching him so well on fork all week long and on the final day, maybe it's just a little showing off. He pulls away from them, leaves them in the dust. What an impressive young angler and what he gets from this one tournament. This is such an important tournament, Davey, and he knocked it out of the park. Well, if you're going to win one, this is the one you want to win. An automatic berth to the Bassmaster Classic, a, a Toyota Tundra for that 11-pounder that he caught, and then a big fat check for, for winning two out of three last 
past events. What a start for Brandon Cobb in the Elite Series. You know, it's not a matter of if he's going to win it, it's just win. It might even happen this season. But once again, hats off to Brandon Cobb, your champion at the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest. <sighs> okay, hold him. <laughs>